Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent, and we are back on Pokemon Showdown today for another Ubers Showdown Live. It's been a while since we've uh, done Ubers, but I really wanted to feature this Hyper Offense team right here, featuring Waterium Z, Raindance, Palkia. Really fun set. Uh, the idea is, is Waterium Z, get that plus one speed boost, and then Hydro Pump's going to destroy everything in the rain. This is, um, if you guys couldn't tell, a Hyper Offense team. Uh, we have this lead Deoxys right here with the Rocks and Spikes taunt and skill swap just to uh, get up hazards and then we have five sweepers Waterium Z Palkia, E Killer Arceus, Nasty Plot Darkrai, Swords Dance Lucario, and Geomancy Xerneas. So uh, hopefully be some fun. I don't know whether uh, or not the team's gonna work out, but I'm um, hoping it does. Let's go ahead and find a match. I actually need to log in. Wow. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and find a match. Uh, I'm really hoping Palkia can do some work. Uh, something tells me some of, some of the other uh, 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 commands on the team are going to do a lot more work because uh, they're a little bit more standard, but this is actually a match where Palkia can do quite a bit. Uh, we do struggle against the Genesect a little bit, but I'm sure we can deal with that. Um, it's Bug Steel, so Hydro Pump can deal with that. I'm just going to lead off with my Deoxys. As he does decide to lead off with the Genesect, not really sure what he wants to do. Um, I can go right here for the uh, Stealth Rock though. As he's going to go for the U-Turn, do a big amount. Doesn't even bring me out to Sass, which I'm surprised about because uh, Deoxys has paper thin defense, I'm pretty sure. Let's go ahead and check that out. Oh, actually, it gets a pretty decent defense stat when it's speed form. I don't know why. Uh, he brings that Groudon right here, probably to uh, set up his own rocks. I'm just going to taunt him right here. I don't want him doing that. And he, if he decides to knock me out, that's fine. He doesn't knock me out, so now I'll just go for the spike right here. And I try to get up more hazards, as he's going to go for the Iron Head and just uh, knock me out right there. Which is totally alright. I could use this as an opportunity to set up with Talkia. That's definitely an option, but I really don't like the, uh, the um, idea of setting up this early. Uh, the Ditto is super annoying because uh, it's going to be able to copy any stat boosts I get. You know what, let's try it. I'm going to go ahead and bring out my uh, Palkia right here. Go right for the Z Rain Dance and uh, see what he wants to do right here. We do get uh, the Rain up, but uh, we're not going to be able to set up the Rain thanks to the uh, obvious uh, intense sun right there, but that's fine. I just wanted the speed boost and We'll see whether or not, why do I have two dragon titans? I'm gonna have to fix that. Uh, that actually doesn't do a lot, so, uh, but he doesn't have to get up rocks over anything, so that's great. I really wanna make a Xerneas prediction right here, but it's not worth it. I'll just go for the spatial end. Um, on the Genesect, which is totally fine. Probably Scarf Genesect, now that I think about it. We'll see how much this does. Doesn't do a lot at all, but uh, we can follow it up with the Hydro Pump right here as we miss. So uh, that sucks because we would have knocked him out, but uh, that's all right. I'm actually gonna go ahead and make this bulky uh, Earth Power. Not sure why we have two dragon type moves. Uh, this was an import team, so not sure. But he's gonna bring out this thing right here. Uh, my Xerneas is in cr pretty easy win condition, but that Ditto is really what's stopping all my wins. So yeah, we'll go Xerneas. He still does have the Groudon, but it's really weakened at this point. He's actually gonna disconnect, so um, I'll be right back and see if he decides to reconnect or not. Alright, so that guy ended up disconnecting. Not sure exactly what happened, but we're gonna go ahead and find another one. Uh, that was interesting because a lot of my sweepers could have won that match, but it was really the ditto that was stopping us. But um, I'm not complaining. Let's go ahead and start timer right here, and hopefully we get a, a complete match right here. Another match where Palkia can do a lot, but uh, unfortunately he does have a primal grout on, so I really want to prioritize my hazards once again. Leads off with the Arceus ground. Uh, it's probably going to try to set up Stealth Rocks. I'm going to just taunt him right here. I'm hoping he doesn't have like any priority because that would kind of uh, make it so that I don't get up any hazards. He might expect the taunt too, not sure. But we can definitely taunt the Arceus if it does that. This is the Arceus. I, I don't know why, but I looked at Arceus here and I thought that was a different Pokemon. So uh, we can taunt it and uh, prevent it from getting up any stealth rocks. I'm pretty sure it does get rocks. Pretty sure every Arceus gets rocks now that I think about it. Well, no, 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 I don't know. You can check. But I'm pretty sure like a rock Arceus gets rocks. Let's try. If Arceus rock doesn't get rocks, then I don't think any any of them will uh, stealth rock. This one doesn't get it. Uh, this one does get it. Let's see if ground gets it. Uh, stealth rock. It does get stealth rock, so I think all of them might get rocks. I'm not sure. But we'll see what he wants to do. He's taking uh, quite a while. Uh, we do end up getting the taunt off, so uh, that's great. He goes right for the Judgment, which is going to do a lot, but it's nothing that we can't handle. And I can just get up my rocks right here pretty safely on the next Judgment, which is uh, great. And now what I'll do is bring in my uh, Palkia right here. Go right for that uh, Z Rain Dance. He does go Groudon, so we're not going to be able to get up the rain, 
but we do get our uh, speed boost, which is great, as uh, the sunlight's obviously not going to make it so that we can get that up, but we do have earth power this time, so um, what's stronger? This goes to 180. This is definitely stronger, so we'll see how much this does. It does a good amount, actually. And he's going to roar me out into Lucario, which kind of sucks, but uh, we do have speed, so I can just Mega Evolve in close combat right here. Uh, he might uh, go Gengar if he's uh, feeling that, but I don't think I would if I were him. Uh, Yveltal is also an option, but I really don't think that one should take the hit. Lucario actually completely destroys his team now that I look at the matchup. He's going to switch out. Uh, this is going to take a lot. Uh, it might even be a 2 at KO. Yeah, that, 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 that does a lot. And uh, I think I can just fall. He's going to get his power construct. Ah, that sucks. Uh, so, probably a thousand arrows is coming out right here. What do I not need? I kind of don't need... Uh, Lucario can win easily, actually. I think I need to sack something and then go Xerneas to try to kill this thing. Do I see Arceus being able to win? I kind of do. Uh, I, I think Palkia has lost its um, uh, resources right here. So, he, we're going to take a lot from thousand arrows and um, I'll attempt a spatial round, I guess. Yeah, we'll try. Uh, I kind of want to predict and go right for the Earth Power. I mean, either way, no, we're just going to go for the Spatial Round. Yeah, he does go uh, Primal Groudon, so we're going to be able to knock this thing out, which is uh, great. We'll see what his next response is. Maybe Yvetal. Uh, this thing might die. To, you know, he has extreme speed, which is going to crit us. Probably mattered. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but we can go Xerneas. Uh, we can try Geomancy sweeping him right here if we really want to. Magirna is a big issue though. We'll try it. Out comes Magirna. No, I think I need to connect Focus Blasts. So we'll go for the Focus Blast right here. We do connect. It does a lot. Heart Swap. Okay. That's an interesting set. So Flash Cannon probably is coming out. Uh, we'll dissect this. Uh, we actually live. But we do nothing. We do get a special attack drop though, so that's cool. And now we can go Lucario. Go right for the bullet punch. We Crit doesn't even knock him out, wow. So is that it? No, we can go Arceus right here. Go right for the um, extreme speed. Knock that guy out. And uh, we might be fine. Uh, the Gengar should drop the Shadow Claw. Substitute. Yeah, you're not getting up a Substitute, man. Unless you just wanted to stall out the turn. Uh, do we have speed? We probably don't. Uh, what's my better play? Earthquake or Shadow Claw? I think Earthquake will do more. He's gonna uh, go for the Destiny Bond. That's fine. Well, is it fine? I don't know. But we'll see whether Darkrai can win it for us. Uh, we, it might be able to, I'm not sure. I think we have to connect Focus Blasts for it to win. I mean, we have to Nasty Plot, that's gonna do a lot. And, uh, I think I have to Dark Pulse Flinch into Nasty Plot, I mean, into Focus Blast. I'll Calc it. Uh, you felt tall. That Life Orb? No, it was probably Specs, if I had to guess. Darkrai? No, it was not Specs, it was, it was something, but... Uh, focus Blast at plus two. Yeah, we definitely need a flinch right here. It's, it's actually Scarfy Veltal, so that's just going to be that. Unfortunate uh, game right there. I definitely think we had a chance had we just um, preserved the mons we needed to a little better, like Lucario, and had we just not set up with our uh, Xerneas too early, but that's alright. We found a game with Kyurem White here, which is really interesting. Uh, Arceus is definitely a big win condition. I kind of want to run Speedy Arceus, but uh, it's not really worth it. Uh, but extreme speed, or extreme speed can completely destroy him. We'll lead off with Deoxys as usual. As he decides to lead off with his uh, Kyurem White. And I'll just go right here for the Stealth Rock. Uh, not sure what his play is going to opt to be. But if he decides to go Groudon, I will taunt that thing to make sure that it can't get up the raw hazards. If he decides to just go for the Ice Beam, no freeze would be great. Yeah, okay, cool. And uh, what I'll do here is just get up a spike. As uh, we're going to be able to knock, uh, do uh, quite a bit of damage there. and. Uh, and our Xerneas, unfortunately, doesn't, will not outspeed, but our uh, our Palkia will. So I can easily go Palkia right here. We're right for the Spatial Arend and hopefully just knock him out. If he missed, that would kind of suck. It's actually Scarf, but that's not going to do anything at all. And this should easily Oko, so Palkia doing some work. 
Which is great. Uh, we still can set up a rain dance if we want. Arceus Fairy. Uh, not sure how fast he is. But uh, my main response to this would be Lucario, but I don't really have a switch in to like a judgment. I think I have the sack right here. I guess what I'll do is go for the Z Rain Dance in case. He actually decides to defog, so now we're faster, which is great. And we're gonna get up the Z Rain Dance right there. Now I can go right here for the Hydro Pump. I really want to predict Groudon and go right for the Earth Power, but I really don't think it's worth it. I think he has to go Groudon though. But on the off chance he doesn't, then I think Hydro Pump's just the best play. We can Earth Power Groudon after it comes in, and uh, maybe so we can have something happen, I'm not sure. But if we get this Hydro Pump off an Arceus Fairy, then we, we should be set to go. Yeah, he does go Groudon, so um, I could have predicted it, but it really wasn't worth it at that point in the game, I think. And we can go for Earth Power right here. Put this thing into range of our Xerneas at plus two. We do a lot, yeah, so... He actually gets up a rocks over anything, which is also great, because now I can follow this up with Spatial Arand. On the Veltal, which uh, is definitely going to take a lot from this, never mind. And, um... I think I kind of want to Rain Dance. Let's get up a regular Rain Dance uh, right here. We should love this. Yeah, we do. And I'll go right here for the Spatial Arand. I'll go for Hydro Pump. There's no reason not to go for Hydro Pump. Uh, we miss it, but that would have blown him back, so that really sucks, actually. I'll go right here into the... We haven't been having the best luck this lab, now that I think about it, but... It's alright, uh, I'll go right here for the Moonblast, I think. Moonblast is pretty free. I could also try Geomancing up, but... Um, I need damage on this thing first, so we're gonna, we got off some decent damage right there. Now plus two Focus Blast should be able to do the job, and... Um, What's my sack? I think Darkrai is the way I revenge kill this. I could try Geomancing up on it, but it's really not a good idea. I think I'll sack Lucario. Everything's a win condition. Uh, we actually live, so I can Mega Evolve here and just go right for close combat. Yeah, close combat's fine. We do at speed. This should knock him out. Never mind. And he's gonna knock me out, but that's alright because I he's probably locked in actually. But I think Arceus can take the hit and just sweep. Okay, I should be able to take a banded one. Let's calc it. Solgaleo. Offensive utility against our Arceus. Bulky Extreme Killer, max HP, a lot of HP at least. Uh, what if he's banded and left choice band? Yeah, we take that. So I'll go Arceus right here. Uh, we didn't see like life orb or anything, right? No, we didn't. So I'll go right here for the Swords Dance. And hopefully we can just sweep sweep him from here. Uh, yeah, we, we love this. As uh, we get three hits in us. So, extreme speed right here. We get two more KOs, whether or not he, he has to decide what he wants to get knocked out. Um, you two should go down. Groudon will definitely go down from the range of that. He could have Sucker Punch on Yvetal, I guess. But if not, then it will definitely go down, and Arceus will definitely go down from 75, so we get two more kills right here. It's unfortunate, because if we had, um, well, this could, I don't know what this thing has, but Extreme Speed should be able to pick it off if it doesn't have priority. And plus, Extreme Speed is plus two priority, so I don't think he can do anything. I'll start the timer right here, and just, uh, yeah, we're ignoring, so. Oh, uh, from, I don't see any way we lose this, so uh, this should go down. That crit, how much defense does he have on Mewtwo? I got Mewtwo X, has a good defense stat, but I don't think it would be enough. Extreme speed this. Uh, it somehow lived, actually. But I think I think we go Xerneas right here, and we just Geomancy for game. We live that, and now we can take two. Go for Moonblast right here. We definitely take Sucker Punch from Yveltal. Yveltal, I don't know how you guys pronounce it. Uh, that's going to knock that guy out, and we should be good. Uh, this will definitely go down to Moonblast, and uh, the Vital will also go down to Moonblast. So we end up taking game number three, which is great. Uh, we're going to get some points right there and uh, get our points back that we lost the other game, which is uh, great for us because uh, we definitely did not want to lose anything. Marciato is a big problem for E-Kill or Arceus, but uh, we have other ways to deal with it, like Artisanius and Alucario. And I think Darkrai might outspeed it. How much? Marciato is 125. I think Darkrai is 120, actually. Uh, Darkrai. 
You are 125, so that's going to be a speed tie, which I don't like playing around with, but um, this is a game where without Primal Groudon, so hopefully Palkia can do something. We'll lead off here with our Deoxys Speed, get up Hazards, make sure that the Lele is in range of Hydro Pump when we decide to bring that Palkia. He decides to lead off with the Veltal, with the Veltal as I'll just go right here for the rocks. Uh, knocks off my Sash. Uh, does that actually get knocked off? No, no, let's go for the Spike right here. Uh, he sh can't really Sucker Punch me. This goes through the Oblivion Wing and just knocks me out, but uh, this is alright. I'll go right here into my Palkia. I'll go right for the Z Rain Dance and hopefully put in some work. Uh, that actually does a lot, but Hydro Pump will blow this thing back. Assuming we connect, we missed on the last Uveltal. I'm really hoping we connect on this one. Nope, that would be too nice. <laughs> Ugh, okay. Uveltal, I mean Xerneas, come out. And uh, I think I'm done playing this guy. I'm just gonna go for Geomancy. That's not gonna work. I'm just gonna go for Moonblast right here. And uh, we should be get, we should be fine. I think we live a Shadow Sneak from the Mars Shadow, but that kind of... Uh, no, no. Now we might not, but... It is what it is. If we connected that Hydro Pump, then that would have been great. Palkia cannot connect. I, I need to make it a wide lens Palkia and get rid of his E-Rain Dance, but uh, we'll see what he wants to bring out. Maybe s Marsh Shadow should be a switch in, unless it doesn't knock me out. Marsh Shadow, oh, you showed on usage against Xerneas. Geomancy Shadow Sneak is a roll. If he's uh, the Marsh Shadium Z set, if he's Adamant, then it's not a roll, and if he's Banded, then it's definitely not a roll. But I'm hoping he's Jolly Marshadium Z is ideal, and then we get the roll in our favor. It'll make up for that miss a lot, <laughs> because we just have to take a ton of damage on our Xerneas for no reason. But I don't really think he has another play right here. He has to go on Marshadow. Because Tabu Lele, um, uh, he's probably Calking too. Uh, Moonblast at plus two, that's not even plus two. Plus two will blow him back. Uh, Fairy Aura, yeah, that'll completely destroy him. Uh, he has to go Marshadow, so. Um, I think I'll load up another one. Well, I don't, I don't know, because um, his, if his Shadow Sneak kills, then we'll, we'll be playing too. But I honestly think Darkrai ha probably can win too. Probably Lucario as well. Lucario, if we get a, a Swords Dance up, then can definitely sweep, because we, um, we just need to win a Speed Tie against the Moon Shadow, and then we should be fine. Unless Plus 2 Bullet Punch knocks him out. Uh, he brought out into probably Arceus Steel. So we Focus Blast here, hopefully we connect. I've already missed a Hydro Pump this match. Connecting this Focus Blast would be great, as we do. So we're going to be able to knock that thing out and uh, retain our stat boost. So Marsh Shadow should have been his first play. Yeah, I'm going to Blast right here every time. Maybe, I don't know what that is. Uh, I'll ch double check all these notifications after the video, but uh, that's going to knock us out. So it sucks that we didn't get the roll, but it is what it is. I'll go... Well, I have to go Darkrai and just win a Speed Tie. Let's check Lucario against um, Mars Shadow. Bullet Punch isn't doing enough. Yeah, we have to go. Well, then again, will this even do enough? I think the play is win the speed tie and then go Lucario and Bullet Punch. Honestly, I've been hexed so much this uh, this match. I don't think it's. I think I think it's fair if we win the speed tie right here. I mean, we did connect with Focus Blast, which I guess kind of made up for the miss, but uh, Palkia would have just completely destroyed him had we. Uh, we do win the Speed Tie. Hope we can be flinching. Uh, we don't flinch. He's actually going to go for Drain Punch and get a ton of health back. That hurts. So I guess what we do here is we go for Bullet Punch. Uh, he's going to do that. Uh, I guess I go for Shadow Claw. Uh, I definitely think he should just go for Drain Punch or Close Combat right here. Uh, he actually... No, that's just going to be it. Yeah, so, um, fortunate game. Uh, Palkia, I should have just preserved Palkia after the late game. I think that's what I'm going to do from now on. I'm not going to go directly out into Palkia after setting up the hazards. Lead Deoxys right here on the uh, Groudon lead. Taunt this thing, make sure it can't get up rocks. He actually just goes right for the Fire Punch. I'll get up my rocks here now. As he goes for the Fire Punch again. And this is the amount I need gone for my um, Palkia to sweep late game. Uh, nothing really wants to take this thing on.
I guess Palkia does. I mean, nothing else, everything else is gonna get 1v1'd by it, so. I think we have to go Palkia right here, just go right for the Earth Power. Do quite a bit of damage, put it into range of our Xerneas. Precipice Blades is barely not, that's the second time it's barely not killed this live. And, uh, does he have any flying types? Not really. So I'll go right here for the Earth Power and just knock him out. And, uh, Palkia is gonna get another kill, which is great. Now he'll probably go either Zygarde or E-Killer. He actually goes Gengar. Do I think it's worth preserving Palkia? I, def I actually kind of think it is. No, let's go for the Hydro Pump. Go for Shadow Ball. Uh, can Darkrai win at this point? It's looking kind of like it. Do I go for Dark Pulse or do I go for Nasty Plot? I think I just go for Dark Pulse. I think he realizes that if I Nasty Plot, he loses. So I think Dark Pulse is definitely the better play right here, and then we can try to Nasty Plot up later. We can also Nasty Plot up on Ferrothorn. Uh, zooming Gyro Ball doesn't do too much. But I think he's forced to stay in right here, which is why I'm Dark Pulsing, because if I Nasty Plot up and he goes for Focus Blast, then uh, that would be pretty bad. He goes for that, so we knock him out. And now Dark Rise free to destroy the rest of his team. Uh, he brings out this one. Uh, I think we can Sludge Bomb right here. Do a lot. He goes for the Z Geomancy, and we can just Sludge Bomb again, because we're going to be able to knock that thing out. That's why I hate Z Geomancy, because it's still a two-turn move, and I really don't think it's worth it at that point. Brings out this thing. I can go for Nasty Plot right here and just try to sweep him. Go for Focus Blast. We miss, as he's going to go for Gyro Ball and knock me out, so it's been like it's pretty much how this live has gone. This is continue missing attacks. I mean, we can't get, I think, two Focus Blasts already, which is, I guess, good enough, but it's not really what I want. Go for SD on that, and now Close Combat should sweep this guy. Never mind, we do absolutely nothing. Okay, so I'll Geomancy right here. On a Glare. Ah, oh, that sucks. So I guess I Moonblast right here. I don't know if we still have speed. On the Para, it's a Para, so talk about that. Uh, we knock him out though, which is great, and I can go here for the Focus Blast as we somehow break through and connect. So now I go right here for the Moon Blast, and we knock him out and win the match with a Paralyzed Xerneas. So uh, we got pretty lucky late game there, but then again, uh, he got lucky early game. That was, that was pretty high up on the ladder too. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's been, but we'll get one more and then we'll call it a live. Because I like to keep these around 30 minutes. It's probably already been past 30 minutes, but I've been really enjoying the team, so I, I really want to get one more. And uh, we'll see where, uh, and then we'll probably end it off after this. What is this? Mono Bug? I thought I was high enough on the ladder to not be finding this, but uh, we're going to click the one move that Mono Bug absolutely despises, which is Stealth Rock. And his only hazard control is potential Defog Scizor. As, um,. What I'll do is taunt this thing to make sure that it can't defog as it just goes for a bug bite. Probably bullet punch is coming out, but I'll just go for spikes in case it doesn't decide to do that. There's a bullet punch, and now do I have any fire type moves? Not really. I think Palkia is pretty safe though. Yeah, Palkia is really safe, and I can just go right here for the Z Rain Dance, and hopefully we can end this off with the Palkia sweep right here. Okay, so this thing's gonna get blown back by Hydro Pump, but I know for a fact I'm not connecting. Do I have to go for Hydro Pump or can I go for the Spatial Round? Against uh, this... what's this thing? Spike Vault. Spatial Round does that much. We are modest, I think. Yeah, we are modest. And that's with a lot of HP investment. I'm gonna go for it. We knock him out without the Hydro Pump, so... That's great. Go Scissor, I will Hydro Pump you, and hopefully we connect and blow this thing back. We do. And I think that's gonna be it. Uh, out comes Faramosa, you will die to Spatial Rand. He might outspeed me. No, he doesn't. And uh, that's going to be uh, that. Beedrill will die to Spatial Rand every time. And uh, I think the last two will die to Hydro Pump. He should just forfeit. Uh, this thing will probably die to Spatial Rand, actually. Well, I want to calculate this because if he starts Quiver Dancing up, then that's a problem. Never mind, he dies. Um, so Spatial Rand will knock this thing out. And uh, Spatial Run might knock out Kressel. Uh, 
I'll just go for Hydro Pump, see if Palkia can finish it off for us. Uh, we do connect and we, we sweep a mono bug with Palkia late um, for the last match, which is kind of funny, but I'm glad we got the sweep off. And uh, we're going to leave, leave it off right there in the 1400s, which is really cool. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the live. If you guys are new, definitely be sure to uh, subscribe down below. And uh, the team will also be down there in the description if you guys want to try it out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.